And um, Cleveland State's going to need to do a better job of stopping that penetration. It's the first time she's actually looked comfortable in the offense tonight. As Cleveland State has the ball back. And there's a shot out of the corner for, for honestly, Ken for three off the glass. Not sure she called the bank. I didn't know they were open this late. The call misses the layup, and now Toledo in transition. They're back across over to Jessica Williams. And Cleveland State does a good job getting back in defense, but Godall gets a wide open 15 footer, and she knocks that down. There's a nice steal there by Janelle Adams. And good defense along the baseline by Honesty King, and, and Janelle Adams also doing a great job of rotating down and intercepting that pass. Adams over to King, and King over to Garland. Garland, nice pass down inside there to Honesty King, and she scores again. It's 7 to 4 Cleveland State. You just hope that in a young player that Shea's not expending too much energy earlier. As I said, she seems to just be involved in every hustle play. She's getting her hands on rebounds, loose balls, and. There we go, up the Shania for Janelle Adams. She's now one for five. That's her first make of the night. Offense as she throws it over to King. King looked like she was going to kick it back out to Garland and lost the ball. It's now back up to, uh, to Jessica Williams. She'll bring it across. Inside to Alana Richardson. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. That is Lucretia Smith. King over to King. King to Garland. Garland down the baseline. Nice bounce pass to Janelle Adams. She'll finish. Vikings up four with 30 seconds to go. Try to work it down to maybe get the last shot of this first half as that ball is over in the corner. Line. A great block by Ingersoll is blocked by. Yeah, Shanita Garland. It's just an air ball and it went right to the other team and they were able to score. Garland drove, she kicked it out, and that is going to be a Winton for three from the wing and she oh, nails it. It is now 48 to 23, Cleveland State. Just a minute and 10 into this second half. And she did a good job moving her feet there. What got her in trouble was she had her hand on the, the offensive player's hip. And in college basketball, you can't do that. It's called for the hand check. And there's a, there's a steal by Cleveland State as that's Adams bringing it up. Adams over to King and Honesty makes up for the foul by knocking down the tray from the top of the key. To Adams, Adams throws it away. Shafir bringing it back up for Toledo. She's bumped by Garland, no call. There's a basket and the foul. Lucretia Smith with the lane. Shifts it off to Winton. Winton drives, kicks it back out to King. Keen over to Garland. Garland has the ball and looks. Nice cut by Keen on a nice pass by Garland. She finds her inside for the bucket. It's 33 28, Cleveland State. She goes to the top, gives it to Garland. Garland on the left wing. Looks down, no, for Keen again. Another nice play there by Cleveland State. Another cutter, another good pass, and now Cleveland State up by 15. Yep. Wing as Toledo will slow it down and set up their offense, trailing by 10 with 6.10 to go. And that's been quite a matchup throughout the night. Sean Garland and Sh and Nama Shafir, the two of them covering each other and, and pretty much neutralizing each other at the offensive ends. Adams, Adams over to Garland. Garland drives the lane into Destiny Blue, up and in with four on the shot clock. 49-39, Cleveland State, five and a half minutes to play. Congratulations. Thank you very much. 4-0 uh, start, it looked shaky at the beginning. Uh, quick foul trouble for Destiny. How are you guys able to come through the first half without having her services? Well, you know, we're starting to get used to that. She's, um, she's been in foul trouble a couple of games now in the first half. And, you know, our, that forces Shay to play, you know, the whole game, really. And, uh, you know, I guess Kyla came in and, and gave us some good minutes while she was in there. And Takeem McKean is playing well off the bench for us. So, you know, we, we have to sub earlier when that happens. And... You know, we knew that this was going to be a battle, and this is a team that we had trouble defending last year. So um, I, I was just very, very pleased that we, we couldn't get it going offensively, but our defense was solid the entire game.